In today's episode, we'll try and calm I'll be showing you 10 Nigerian pastors you should run from. Coming at number 10 is Pastor Chris Okafo. Pastor Chris Okafo is the presiding preacher of Mountain of Liberation and Miracle Ministries, also known as Liberation City. This Oga preacher sir, came under heavy fire in 2019 as videos surfaced online of one auntie like that having a wrinkled arm and was seeking healing from the man of God. Onto says she has a miracle they happen for her plenty plenty. But now this is the part that will bust your head. This same woman has been seen in five different churches with the same hand problem seeking miracle. But now the funny thing is that at the end of the day she supposedly gets this miracle. Now here comes the question, Abi your hand is spoil every time then finish this miracle only for us to find out that she's a fake and an actor as to Okafo in the video where he was healing the woman said he was retrieving her missing bones directly from the coven of witches after this the woman was reviewed and arrested by the nigerian police authority who confessed to being an actress who stage managed all the miracle wow they play just they play continue i retrieved her bones from the from the household of witches give me the bone aha uh -huh. give me the bone yes yeah. At number 9 is Prophet Odumeje, Pastor Chuku Emeka on her name Miriam, popularly known as Odumeje, the lion, the fight, the liquid method, the Indaboski, Bahosha. He's the general overseer of Mountain of Holy Ghost Intervention and Deliverance Ministry. This one method of healing has earned him the title to the wrestling pastor, as this one is not a preacher of love, but the war and the fight. The liquid method was called out by a former female associate known as Ada Jesus, who accused him of being a false prophet and a trickster, which stage manages his miracle, which he does in WWE manner, and described him as a money in client showmaker. Recently, he dropped a post and said his purpose on earth has been fulfilled, meaning Oga go soon kick buckets. Well, what more can I say than let's watch and see. Make we know if this one contract on earth don't expire through through. I've been a shawarma compass. See him, watch him, watch him. That is a man of power. This is dangerous. At number 8 is Pastor Joshua Ijinla. Pastor Joshua Ijinla is a popular Abuja-based pastor who is the senior pastor of Champions of Royal Assembly. The Abuja-based pastor was involved in a Bogide section scandal where he confessed to his congregation that he did mommy and daddy play with another person that was not his wife. Now, this is where the Ekelebe Stoner Shocker comes in. He further revealed to his congregation that him and his wife, Yemisi, had children out of wedlock and that his wife brought another man's child into their home, which he forgave her. But exactly time when they say one good turn deserves another, reverse was his case. As he put another woman in the nine months life, Lifestyle way, and his wife refused to forgive him. Despite fighting to keep their marriage intact, Ijinla and Yemisi parted ways and went where Unono, which gave room for the pastor to marry his baby mama. Stella Zimanzi, the man, a South African prophetess who had reportedly bought him two children. They play, just they play. Idon Yaramba. Coming in at number 7 is Apostle Johnson Suleiman. Apostle Johnson Suleiman is the founder and general overseer of Omega Fire Ministries in Edo State, Nigeria. This one charges way government for this life menu. As social media went into a frenzy when a lady identified as Stephanie Otubo called out the Auchi based pastor, claiming he impregnated her and later dumped her. Wow, Apostle Sa, we greet you from the high places. She alleged that they both spent time in a hotel where they had you, you know, among other practices. And all this happened while he was duly married. It doesn't end there, my people. In 2020, a man identified as Pastor Mike Davids accused the apostle of having an affair with his wife, Faith Edeko. David alleged that the apostle had Bogide section with his wife, who was heading the Abuja branch of the Clarice Church in Otaku. The accuser man further released audio he claimed to have recorded in one of their phone call conversations, where the apostle could be reportedly heard making threats to his life. The matter was reported to the then Nigerian Inspector General of Police, who ordered for an immediate investigation, but you, you know this country now, man no man matter die. At number 6 is Pastor Paul Sayangori. Pastor Paul Sayangori is the presiding pastor of Victory World International who claims of having God's phone number. Yeah, so this one saying get direct hotline to God though. If you know like, share and give us me all of us they call him too. Well, breeze don't blow and in brother don't come cast him matter for town. Saying the pastor is evil and his miracles were fake. He's saying that him and him brother been they book people for fake prophecies and miracles which always seem true. This one that year bust all of us brain. Saying they walk out on top water like senior man bros J that year. Just for him brother to come go and say oh now on top photoshop them Run them. That's to say the water weighing worker on top, we will see. Now on top Photoshop, then go carry the water in worker. Wow. And he's also involved in Pogide section with his members. And on current form, his wife is on steady cry marathon. Via in one or two Akuna Kuna Waka when they do. No. Yes, is this heaven? Yes, is it heaven? Number 5 is Prophet Andre Ijimandu. Anointed CFMCR1, real name Andre Ijimandu, is the founder of Christ Freedom Church. He is a Nigerian pastor whose church is based in Zambia. Then back this one, carry and go police cell during church service on ground of money laundry offenses. A Zimbabwean woman who get big eye and wanted to get rich overnight was duped by Oga Preacher Man. She narrated that the preacher man convinced her to bring 10,000 rands so that he could pray for it and multiply it by a factor of 10. This one carry money go and Oga Preacher Man did that the more you look, the less you see. After praying and speaking in 
in tongues. The prophet apparently turned newspaper into money, which he gave until we get big eye. She thinks she wise. She can't count the money, and to her surprise, he reached hundred thousand rands. Now, so she take boss smile with joy, you unto happiness. But on her arrival back home, money turned back newspaper. Now, have they not left you behind? This one a regular for police handle, as he has been arrested in the past for miracle money scam and defiling a minor girl in Zambia. Coming at number 4 is Prophet Shefard Bushiri. Prophet Shefard Bushiri, also known as Major One, is the founder of Evangelical Church Gathering in South Africa, with branches in other countries such as Ghana and Zimbabwe. According to BBC, Bushiri and his wife with two other people are facing accusation of money laundry and 409 charges, investigated to be worth 120 million South African rand, that is $6.6 million. Him and his wife were arrested in 2020, but after being granted bail, these two don't jack back till now. He is also being accused of raping women and girls as young as 16, including two sisters which he has drugged some of his victims and bribed others into silence. Why the others he has vowed to kill them if they say pain? This one has claimed to cure people of HIV and bring back people from the dead. Wow, senior man, you are doing well, low. Even make blind man to see road and turn poor man to rich man. One time like that, if you don't claim to walk out on top air, or got avatar airbender, we see you, sir, continue. If you see where this one they do crusade, you go just weak. As in don't devise means of selling supposed miracle oil to poor people to get rich. Now, imagine who they find money, they carry money, they go buy oil to get rich. Are you normal? And as it stands, now you can call him a millionaire in dollar pastor as he is one of the richest religious leaders in africa with four private jets to his name they play just they play Number 3 is Pastor Chris Okotie. Pastor Chris Okotie is the founder and pastor of Household Church of God. Unfortunately, the church has been a breeding ground for some head shackling Pogide controversies. It will shock you to know that this particular man of God has been married twice. First to Tina Okotie, which their marriage crashed in 2001, and secondly to Stephanie Henshaw, which marriage lasted from 2008 to 2012. Shortly after the announcement of his separation from his second wife in 2012, a woman named Remy alleged that the pastor had a kunakuna affair with her while he was still married to his first wife Tina, and the affair led to the birth of a daughter, allegedly for him. She also stated that before now she had taken in and was told to take away by the man of God. So she decided not to take away the fourth one because he supposedly proposed marriage to her, even while he was still married as at the time. Another jaw dropping scandal was made two years later by an ex member and worker of the church, alleging that the cleric has slept with most female members of the church. Oyao Otilo. At number 2 is Pastor Alfa Lukayu. Pastor Alfa Lukayu runs the popular Alleluia Ministries, which is based in South Africa. The South African pastor came into limelight after he claimed to have resurrected a man from the dead. And this incident made South Africans and challenged the man of God to raise late South African president Nelson Mandela from the dead. Well, on how this one don't get the power, he had to come out and confess, saying that he did not raise the man who was brought to his church from the dead, stating that as when the man arrived, he was not dead, whereas reports carried it that the man was three days dead before arrival at the church. <laughs> My people too real law. This made the clergy to plead with the public to forgive him and forget his Wayo act. That is after he don't use it in cash out on top of the YouTube and Twitter lifestyle because this singular act gained him 635,000 subscribers on YouTube and tweeted to more than 22,700 followers on Twitter. Your mind don't dare be. He's commanding life. Come on! Coming at number one is Pastor Sunday Adelaja. Pastor Sunday Adelaja is a popular Nigerian pastor who is the founder of one of Europe's largest churches, Embassy of Blessed Kingdom of God for All Nations Church, which is located in Kiev, Ukraine. He was involved in Akunakuna scandal, following allegations that he had Pogide section with at least 20 to 30 women in his church. Hearing this, the pastor denied the claim and said, Now, nah, bad Belepo won't collect the church from his hand. Exactly, time where Shokamu has evidence started to the pull up. Even Pogide section tape follow involved self. Now, so Oga pastor take rest, say he matter do be and he don't cast for town. Currently, he is no longer the presiding pastor of the church, according to the Russian Union of Christian of Evangelical Faith. These people mean no, they don't tell Oga to go sign up for psychiatric to get help. Oh, what a life. That's all the Niger pastors you need to run away from. I know you love watching this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit on the bell icon to get notification about new and more interesting videos as they drop. Thank you.